Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. MJ here from A Reason to Tutorials. Today we have A Reason to Mix and we're going to talk about reference tracks and how to set them up in Reason. Now, what is a reference track and why would you like to set it up? And most important, how? A reference track is something you load up into your session and you switch back and forth while mixing to compare your session with the actual reference track. The reason you want to do that is because while mixing when you lock yourself up in your music cave and spend hours on your on your session then go out and take your session with you and compare it to other mixes to other songs whatever you might stumble upon bad experiences how do we prevent this we use reference tracks how do we set this up now here's i've loaded up a session now this is the song just woke up in the early morning Turn the volume up to the maximum Stretch my bag while I'm on it Hold up, something's wrong Man, realizing this You, you, you can't keep running away I wanted to say we played the original way Either you stay, lay the pistol or pay We are Gotta sneak out to bed While I try to replay Yesterday in the back of my head Okay, how do we set this up? Now when working in Reason, you need to know that all the tracks you create go through the master section. As for our reference track, we don't want it to run through the master section. How do we set this up? First of all, create an audio track. Let's name it reference track. Reference track. Mm -hmm. And then we take the direct out. Now, as for now, it is running through the master section. We don't want it to run through the master section, so we take the direct outputs. And the way I like to configure it, let's put it like this, is with a line mixer in our master section, like this, unplug it, and route the line mixer up to our main audio output, and the master output of our master section into our line mixer. So, we leave this untouched, and then we take our direct output into the second audio in of our line mixer. Now it doesn't run through the master section anymore. The next stop would be the programmer and take our button one, there it is. Target would be the, no, would be the mute button. And again, button one, channel two mute the opposite values. So when I press this button, let's call it reference, we solo our reference track and when we unclick it, it is muted so we don't hear it. The next thing would, would be setting up a dim button because most of the times our reference track would be loud as hell so we don't want to <laughs> blast our ears and that's what we would like to have. Like that's this something I prefer. You don't need to do it, but I recommend you to do it. We take button two and we target the level of channel two. The minimum would be like this is when we have the button switched off. We will we will we want to leave it at one hundred and the maximum value would be at thirty. So when we press the dim button and you keep your eye on the level, we dim it. Okay? Now the next thing you need to know is how to import your reference track because drag and drop at this point doesn't work anymore because you would have you would get another new track for your reference track and you would have to set this up all all again and you don't want to set this up all the time, so I would recommend you to save this as a template right here. You save it as a template, and then you can load your reference track in over and over again. How do we load it in? You make sure that you have your reference track selected, and then you press Control, Shift, and I. And then you can select your mm, reference track and load it in. There you have it. Now let's say you have your session running. Hmm, you go, ah, okay, let's, let me tweak this EQ and this compression and hmm, I don't know, is it bright? Is it too bright? Is it too harsh? Is my mix too muddy? I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, let's check it with our reference track. Make sure to dim it so you don't blast your ears away, and then you click reference. And there you, and there you have it. Again, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions or any requests, feel free to leave a comment on the, on the comment section. Again, I'm MJ from A Reason to Tutorials. Thanks for tuning in.